I'm Kendall Shane Danst. And I'm Katie Kaufman. Welcome to the Eagle News Sports Podcast. We're going to start off today with Kendall taking a look at the basketball preseason. The 2009-2010 men's and women's basketball season kicks off November 13th. The men will be tested early from their first game. They are set to face Michigan State, who reached the Final Four last year. The men return 10 players, four of whom were starters last season. The women are ranked first in the A-Sun preseason coaches and media poll. The women return all five starters from last year's squad, which finished first in the A-Sun regular season. Of the five starters, Chelsea Lyles and Adrian McNally have been chosen as preseason all-conference selections. McNally also received an honorable mention from Full Court Press. The women will host UTEP for their first game. Now here's Katie, who has an exclusive interview. Katie? We're here with the Division Three hockey team head coach, Evan Crawford. And Evan, I understand you actually graduated from FGCU. I did. I graduated uh, last spring with a, a degree in communication. And you played on the D2 team, right? Uh, yep. I played on the Division Two team for two seasons um, after transferring down from Central Michigan University. So, so how did you find yourself as the head coach of the D3 hockey team? Uh, well, at the end of last year, um, the Division Three coach, uh, Josh Onishuk, uh, he decided he was going to move up to be an, uh, an assistant coach with the Division Two team. Uh, so they were looking to, to fill that spot, and, and they, they approached me about it right at the end of the year. And uh, I figured the program had given so much to me in the two, just the two years that I've been here uh, that it was just the right thing to do if I was going to be in the area to, to give back to the program. So is it beneficial to you that you're familiar with the guys and the players and that you know their names? And, or is it kind of hard to, get, to put yourself in that um, authority role? You know, I, you've got to kind of play a fine line, um, you know, between being an authoritarian and, uh, you know, being their friend. Uh, I was lucky enough, I didn't know a lot of the guys very well, you know, I'd, um, you know, I'd talked to some of them. Um, but the other part of it was I was the president of the club last year. So the majority of the guys are either freshmen or sophomores, so either they're just meeting me or the only position they knew me as was as already being kind of a leader in the club as it was. So. Um, you know, that's worked out, but you, it is a fine line to play, so you got it's a learning process. And um, this year you guys are actually hopefully going to the Nationals again. Last year the D2 and D3 placed second yep. um, in Nationals up in New York. So um, what do you, you guys also lost a couple of All-American players from the D3 team who moved up, uh, Jason Almkrantz, Stephen Gutowitz. So are there any players that you're looking to fill those roles this year for the national title? Um, as far as guys that are returning to the team, uh, we're looking for uh, Nathan Altman, who was a uh, he was a great player last season as well. Um, early on in this this season, he's played extremely well. Um, we've got a couple couple of freshmen that came in. Kelly Johnson, who uh, actually grew up playing right here in Fort Myers, um, he's uh, he's going to contribute a lot. And then we've got a couple of new defensemen who are who are playing really well here early on. So, so we've heard a lot about Nathan Altman. So how does he get along with the other players? He, you know, he gets along with the guys well. Um, but sometimes his, uh, his production doesn't go over too well with some of the other guys, especially his, his line mates. Uh, actually, this uh, past weekend we were playing Georgia Tech and uh, we got out to a pretty substantial lead. And it just seemed like every time Nathan touched the puck, it was just going in. It didn't matter if he tried to pass it initially, it would just somehow end up back on his stick and he'd score. So his line mates got, got very upset with him. and. Uh, uh, when they got off the ice, they, they were talking to me and they're like, you know, just bench him, just bench him. So Nathan was, he was uh, getting a little lippy and he was saying stuff too. And uh, so, you know, I decided there were about 10 minutes left in the game. So we sat him down for the rest of the game, just made him sit there and, and watch the remaining 10 minutes. Uh, so, Stop so he, scoring. No yeah, more scoring. Yeah, no, no more scoring for you. I think he had four goals already. And it's just like, that's, that's enough. So a little too much there. Them in overtime. So, so hopefully we'll, we'll continue to improve. Right. And for the fans that come out to the games, um, who are the guys that are really stepping up this year? Um, maybe a defenseman, and, um, a guy in some offense that are that's actually um, a guy to watch, someone that's exciting. So. Um, like I had mentioned before, uh, number 22, uh, Nathan Altman is, uh, is definitely a player, player to watch. He um, is very talented. I think he's averaging about three goals a game right now. Um, so hopefully he can continue to keep that up. Uh, and then at defense, our captain, uh, number 26, uh, Joe Russo, um, a senior this year and just a good leader. Uh, and he's, he's, been, he's played very well early on here. Okay, all right, well, we want to thank Evan for coming out. Um, you'll see us, see the FGC hockey team play next week, um, next Friday and Saturday at 6 o'clock. Um, 
at Jermaine Arena. Thanks so much. Thanks, Evan. Thanks, Katie. That wraps up our podcast. See you next week. <laughs>